So today I'm going to show you how I make this simple apron with the iron-on uh, metallic vinyl in the front. So if you want to have a look, then keep watching. So firstly, I start in the Cricut app on my Mac um, to go in and design the font. So I start off with a shape. Um, in this case, it's a rectangle, 30 centimeters by 16. Um, so I put that on the screen so basically I know what I'm working with and how big to make my font. Um, because there are two different types of font in this, I'll need to do them separately. So first off I do master and it's in the font master blush. Um, so I will get that on the screen. Now, despite being able to minimize the space between the letters, Cricut is not great at getting them even. So you will need to go through and ungroup them um, and then be able to individually move them to where you want them to be. I like to try and do it so it looks like it's one cohesive word. So you'll just need to fiddle around until you get the look that you're after. Once you've done that, um, just group them all together and then you will need to weld them. I cannot stress that enough. If you don't weld them, when you print it out and when it irons on, it will go through as individual letters and you'll see where the lines end and start and it looks really tacky. Um, then we need to do the chef. I don't want that in the master blush font, so I will go through and find a different one. You can use any font that you want, um, but I've made this before, and this is the font that I went with. So once I've done that, um, again, I will minimize the space between each of the letters so that they're a little bit closer together, and then I'll make sure that both fonts are, in this case, purple, so that when it goes through the Cricut and prints out, it... Um, registers as one job and doesn't have to go through on separate mats. So once you've got it to the right size that you're after you will just go through and save it um, and then that way you'll be able to print it through on your machine which we will now go through and have a look at that footage. So the lighting isn't very good in here, so I didn't record a great deal, um, but basically I have put my vinyl on the mat. The main thing to remember when you are printing on anything that you're going to iron on is to make sure that the dial is turned to the iron on setting. If it's not, um, it potentially could cut too deep and it would render your vinyl useless. Um, the second thing is that it needs to be a reverse image so when you're going through and setting up your mat you need to select the mirror on option so that it prints it backwards um, the first time I did it I did not do this and then when I went to put it on my fabric obviously it was back to front and looked ridiculous um, you should also cut your vinyl prior to doing this um, but it is late and I am lazy and I've just whacked it on the mat um, I don't think this is the Cricut, van, Cricut brand um, iron-on vinyl and you don't really get a great deal of it and it's actually pretty expensive so I'm definitely looking at different options at the moment but that'll do its thing, um, it shouldn't take too long and then it will beep or flash at you and say I'm done then you just remove the vinyl, I'm going to cut it um, but obviously if you've already done that, that's one less step now I'm just going to get everything organized so that we can assemble um, everything onto the apron. So I'll get my Cricut machine and turn that on. It doesn't take too long to heat up, um, which is good, and it's on its little protective base. Then I will get the um, Cricut mat shortly after, but first um, we need to go through and basically weed off everything. Now with the iron on, you do it with the light colour up and you take it off. If you try and do it the other way, like again I did the first time, um, it won't work. So normally I'd be able to get this in one go. I have sped it up, otherwise we'd be here forever. Um, but in this case it just came off in little pieces and it was just it was actually ridiculous to be honest but um, anyway so you will go through and just take out any bits that don't need to be there it's really important that you get this step right because once it's on the fabric um, it's not going anywhere so after you have weeded out everything that you don't need um, it's time to get everything ready so that we can iron it onto the fabric. That's how it looks at the moment. So that's what will go on the apron. Super shiny. 
So then I've got my mat and I will lay um, the apron on top or where I need to lay the apron on. Um, I will need to do this from a weird angle because I'm facing a different direction to the camera but you'll still be able to see what I'm doing. Um, the benefit of these aprons are they have a seam down the center so it's really easy to line up the words and work out where they need to be um, and then just make sure that obviously there's no cords or um, anything behind because that will alter you being able to iron it. So once you've got it on the mat you just need to run the Cricut over the top and that will heat it up and it also helps the sticky part of the um, vinyl adhere to it while you're kind of getting your paper and everything on there. Then you just need to line it up so it's center, centered and you're happy with it. And once you've done that I just use a piece of baking paper and put it over the top. Um, in the past I have done this without it and it worked and then on another occasion it didn't so I've just decided not to tempt fate. Then um, once you've put it on you push your Cricut button and you put a decent amount of pressure on there for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds I normally check it and just have a look and see if the fibres of the fabric are starting to slightly come through. Um, with the aprons I find it does need another 20 to 30 seconds to make sure that it's on there and the important thing with the um, metallic vinyl I have found you'd need to let it cool down before you take the plastic off. Um, if you try to take the plastic off while it's still warm it just starts peeling the vinyl off. So I'm just going to run over that again for about 20 seconds. I'm not going to put pressure on it, I'll just let it sit there and heat and do its thing. Um, just to make sure that it's definitely on there because once it is, the, obvious, the thought is that it doesn't go anywhere and you're able to wash it and use it and it just stays on the fabric. So once that's on there for another 20 seconds, um, I take it off, turn the Cricut off and then I will get the camera and I'll show you what it looks like now. So we'll take the paper off. So it's definitely adhered really well, super shiny, super pretty. So it's going to be warm to the touch for a while, so you will need to let it cool down. Um, and then once it's cool, you will be able to remove the plastic. So I find that you just need to hold the fabric taut and then slowly peel away. There shouldn't be too much resistance with it. It shouldn't be peeling off the vinyl. If it is, you haven't left it on for long enough. Um, and then take it off and that is done and then I'll hold it up and it's so pretty I love it thank you for watching and I hope you have got something out of it